Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. This video here is going to be about the Bundeswehr. Uh, the West German Army, this is some more of a Cold War kit that uh, a West German soldier would have been wearing. Now, what we're looking at here is belts. We have two combat belts and we have two trouser belts. And then right here, we have some belt hangers. Okay, now with the combat belts, let's start with those. To me, they're, 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 they're pretty interesting belts. And they're very simple belts, but they are interesting. First of all, this belt here with the darker grayer color is the older belt. This belt here was used probably in the 60s and 70s. And then this belt here with the darker green come later on in the 80s up into the 90s when they switched uh, uh, a kit, okay? And then I believe these these clips here were used uh, the entire time. They used these for various purposes. But uh, I'll show you how those clip on the belt in a minute. And then they had a simple trouser belt, which was pretty close to the combat belt. Now, the combat belt is about two inches wide, and this here is about an inch and a quarter for the trouser belt. Now, look at these buckles here. All of the buckles are pebbled. They got pebbles. These are within a square on the combat belt, and then the sides are smooth. This seems to be have painted with kind of a gray-greenish paint. Okay. The newer belt also has the pebbling and the smooth sides and a square. And this, the buckle seems to be black and brass. Now, let's take a look at the trouser belt. The buckles are still pebbled, but notice they wrap them around. Okay. Now, let's take a look how I know that this is an older belt than this belt. It's for one, the color. And for two, there is not a national stock number on this belt here. Okay. And this belt here has a national stock number. So it tells me this belt here come out after they uh, put the national stock number into existence. And I could be wrong about that, but uh, now, another thing about these belts is they're very simple. They just had a hook mechanism there, and they had this hook uh, mechanism there, which clamps to the belt. See, and they just hook like that. It's the same thing for the trouser belts. But it, it, they're built just a little different. See that? This, uh, instead of clamping on the belt, it's built in and riveted into the belt on the trouser belts. And they just kind of hook in like that. Now, on this right here, there's a big H. And I believe it says, uh, let me see if I got my magnifying glass handy. No, I don't. But right here, hopefully you can read that. It has a maker on it. Okay. Now, I noticed with this belt also, it has a maker also on it. Some of you people from Germany uh, might could tell me what maker that is or another collector out there could tell me. This belt here has no maker mark of any kind on it. The older belt does. Now, let's take a look at these. Uh, they just had these little breakover clamps. And what you would do is you would take this off your belt. This is a very simple process. You just pop that off there. Slide the buckle end off. Slide these belt keepers on to where you need it. Okay, you're gonna need uh, you're gonna need a couple. You're gonna need about three of them upright to grab your suspenders. Okay, so you're gonna have to put one around here. I'm just gonna show you instead of putting them all on there, but that just breaks over and clamps like that, and then the suspenders could hook right into here. 
They had a lot of metal to metal objects, which uh, made this kit very noisy and unliked by the soldiers. So it'd be hard to sneak up on somebody when metal to metal's all clinging around and stuff. But they also would hang these uh, just for dividers between different pouches to keep about from sliding around. Uh, they would put one of these in the middle. In fact, let me give you a demonstration. Okay. In order to keep this pouch in exactly where they wanted it, uh, a soldier might take one of these, clamp it in between here, and then run it on through like that. And that way, this pouch is going to stay pretty close on the belt right there where they wanted it. But they would use these to divide their pouches out also. Another thing they would do is they would hang two of these upside down like this. And then they would use a couple of these, uh, these straps to hang the respirator off of on the side. And I will be demonstrating that on the mannequin probably in the next uh, loadout video. I will give you a demonstration of that. But there's not a lot to see about these uh, combat belts, but they are very interesting. And they are part of the Bundeswehr, the uh, West German military's equipment. So if you like this kind of content, hit that uh, button and subscribe. Thanks for watching the Web Gear Review.